The Very Hungry Moth, written and illustrated by Ronette Curls. In a dark attic, a female moth spots a woolen rug. This is perfect, she thinks, as she lays 25 eggs inside the carpet fibers. Later, one of the eggs hatches and a larvae eases its way out of the egg up to the surface of the rug. The larvae is so hungry, she quickly begins her journey to look for something to eat. She sees a closet nearby. She is curious, so she climbs up the closet door and enters the closet. What do you think was inside? There were so many kinds of clothing that Marth larvae liked to eat. What do you think she ate? Sunday, she ate through one fluffy fur coat, ripping a hole in it. But the larvae still wanted more. Tuesday, she ate through two cashmere sweaters, gnawing holes right through them. But the larvae still wanted more. Wednesday, she climbed in a hat box and ate three hats made of fine linen, shredding holes right through them too. But the larvae still wanted more. Thursday, she ate through four silk ties, tearing holes right through them. But the larvae still wanted more. Friday, she ate through five wool scarves, biting holes right through them. Do you think she is full yet? No. Saturday, she climbed up a chest of drawers to look for more fabric to eat. She nibbled through one pair of pink feathered gloves, plus three pair of wool socks and five t-shirts. She also chewed on three leather belts three pieces of underwear, and three Angora handkerchiefs, destroying them all. Did the larvae want more? No, more! She had eaten until she could not eat any more. Look at the larvae now. Wow, she has changed. She is no longer a larvae. She has become one big, hefty caterpillar. The larvae did not want to eat even one more thing. She began to feel very tired and very sleepy. She had eaten too much fabric and now she knew that she must find somewhere to rest. She crawled a great distance up the wall until she found a medium sized crack along the juncture with the ceiling. Feeling very sluggish and exhausted, she decided to rest there. Within 24 hours, she began to spin a little cocoon and wrapped herself tightly inside. She was completely inside of it. Here, she turned into a pupa and stayed inside for 14 days. On the 14th day, she opened the bottom of the cocoon and squeezed her way out. She spread open her wet wings and waited for them to dry. When they had dried, she began to flutter them. Now she had become beautiful, delicate moth. Led by the light of the moon, she flew out of the open window into the darkness of the night. She flew all around the city in the dark. She was all alone until finally she found her moth family. They were having so much fun dancing around the street light until the sun came up and she joined them and lived happily as a moth should. The end. Thanks for watching.
To order your copy of The Very Hungry Moth, click on the link below or visit www.catchthatbubble.com. <laughs>